Why did you actually choose Jumpy on to live, Jumpy to live, rather than Central Pattaya? Oh, well, I think when you first come to Pattaya, you go to Beach Road and Pattaya and all that course, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And um, as you get to know people, they tell you about this little city called Jamtien or this little neighborhood called Jamtien. And when we came over here, it's just much cleaner. Um, Absolutely. Just a very nice beach. Everybody, it's a, it's actually a community over here. So at about four or five o'clock, everybody will come out and walk up and down the beach as exercise or to socialize, whatever yeah. you want to do. And um, you tend to see a pretty similar crowd. So you get to know everybody. It feels really at home, mm -hmm. and um, you just grow to to kind of love that community. Yeah, I've got to ask you about the hat. There is that a theme? Oh. Is that your? Uh, trademark to your channel? I think it's kind of turning into a um, somewhat of a trademark, somewhat of a calling card. Okay. Very easy to recognize me around town with uh, the nice fedora on. And when we were walking last night, it was very dark and we went as a group. There was Trevor, there was you, there was me, there was a bunch of subscribers. We had a great night. We went bar hopping. There was about, I guess, 10 of us. Some were subscribed to Trevor's channel, Buzzing Patia. Some were subscribed to me, one or two of yours, I guess. And we all met mm -hmm. up. Well, we, we didn't meet up. People tagged along. And it became a kind of bit of a party. We went around, and uh, at times I lost the group, but it was very easy to find them because of this hat. <laughs> well, what else can you tell us about this area? Okay, so you have the main beach road. Okay. Okay, so guys, again, Jam Tien. Um, you can look it up, very easy to find. But we have the main beach road, and then there's all these little side soys. And down the side soys, you're gonna find little cafes, restaurants, massage shops, and little bars. And there's all these little hole-in-the-wall bars, and you can just pick pick any one of these soys, mm. and you can probably spend the night, you spend your evening on any one of these soys. Sure, sure. Just, um, it's obvious to anybody who's been to Thailand before, but if you've never been to Thailand, uh, the word soy, and it's spelled S-O-I, yes. it's, it's a road that leads off a main road. It's a street or an alley, whatever you want to call it, but that, right. that's the meaning of it. Just means street, right? Street or uh, road. Yeah, if you look it up on Wikipedia, Wikipedia um, on Google rather, or Wikipedia, it's got a very definite definition, but it, it's basically a street off a, a, a main street. Um, but I'll tell you what, Jeff, I'm actually quite shocked because the last time I was in Jumped In, not Pattaya, but the last time I was in Jumped In was over 20 years ago, mm. and... Um, as when we had a, when we were talking earlier, I did say to you that you'd come in from the top end there. There were a few restaurants, there were a few bars, and then it was just a long beach strip. You could ride your bike along. But now, you know, you, like you just said, you've got all these streets that lead off, all these hole-in-the-wall bars, all these restaurants. It's a, it's a great place to visit. Right. And, and I think the best thing, what I personally, what I like about this area is you don't get the idiots. You know, the two-week millionaires who come out and drink and go crazy. Uh, I'm not saying everybody does that, but you don't see that over here. It's, like you said, it's a community, people are nicer, and uh, it's just a great place to be, and I should be spending right. some more time out here. Right, well, like I said, I think you find out about it kind of your second or third trip, or yeah. even fourth trip, maybe. Um, so everybody who's coming the first time, or the, the two-week millionaires, as we call them, they probably find out about Patia and want to stay as close to Beach Road, mm -hmm. or everybody knows Tree Town now, so they probably want to stay in that area for the uh, the rookies, the, yeah, the yeah, newer yeah, the newer yeah. people. And then when you are when you <coughs> want something a little bit more relaxed, something where you're um, away from the craziness, but um, only a five minute, 10 minute motorbike ride away, you go to, you go there when you want your crazy, and then you come back to Jam Tien when you want a little bit of peace. Yeah, and, and, and what actually happens, I, I know this from experience with friends, uh, uh, even myself up to a point where you come to Thailand for the first time, you spend some days in Bangkok, you head down to Pattaya, and you're in a party town, and guys, thought they love it, you know, they go out every night, they, they're talking to girls, they're drinking, and then they'll come back and do that again, and you'll get guys who'll come out for longer periods, but what happens, as unbelievable as it sounds, that does be, it does become boring, and it does start to get on your nerves a little bit. It gets to the point where you don't want to leave Pattaya, but you just don't want to be living in that atmosphere all the time. And then what tends to happen is people will migrate out to different areas, and this is a great area to migrate out to. And sure. you, you, why don't you tell everybody about, I haven't seen your apartment, but I drove up to pick Jeff up. I've rented a motorcycle, small motorcycle, and I could see Jeff at the other end of the soy, so I, I went up and picked him up. Um, but you were telling me you've got an apartment here. Is it, is it an apartment or just a room? Uh, just a, it's just a uh, small condo, Okay. studio, 
Do you know similar, how, similar to like a hotel room. I've got a couch, got a bed. So it's, um, it's basically a room with a with a, a an ensuite kind of toilet shower room, I guess. Yeah. Sure. Does it have a balcony? Small balcony. Um, the building has a pool, very small, stripped down gym, but um, <clears throat> the location is everything. I'm 100 meters from the beach. You step outside my doorstep, like where you picked me up, there's a Thai food restaurant Brilliant. right there. So, I mean, I can go down there for breakfast. And you've got 7-Elevens everywhere. 7-Elevens I mean, yeah. everywhere. You know, everything's just within a three-minute walk for me. Right, shop reviewers now. How much do you pay for that a month? I know, you told me. 5,000 baht. And to put that in perspective, guys, 5,000 baht is approximately, in pounds, it's about 120, 140 pounds. In dollars, I would say... 160? 160. So Jeff lives in paradise on $160. Well, not he doesn't live on $160, but he pays $160 US dollars a month to live in a, a real nice condo. And uh, what about your air conditioners? Because that's one of the biggest I, costs out here, isn't it? I want to I want to tell you though, real quick. Before while, while I was waiting for him this morning, I woke up, was starting my day off, went to my little restaurant next door to grab breakfast. But before that, I woke up, looked out the balcony, thought to myself, had a moment of gratitude. I just thought I'm 100 meters from the beach. I'm paying 160 bucks a month. I'm going down to get breakfast with sweet Thai people who are cracking jokes at the restaurant. Yeah. I'm gonna meet up with you later to make a YouTube video. Yeah. I'm just like, am I in heaven? Yeah. You know. So life is good over here, guys. I mean, you know, the Thais are such nice people. To give you an idea, we we've set this up, and this is actually a, a, a real nice kind of outdoor cafe restaurant. There's a swimming pool behind us. You can just about see the blue there. There's water. And they've got some real nice music. Now, we couldn't ask them to turn the music down because it's copyrighted music. And as I'm always saying, it can be as low as it can be. But if YouTube pick up YouTube copyright... YouTube has very good ears. Good ears. Good ears. Now, we went and asked the staff. We said, would you mind turning off? Turning off the music completely so we could do this. Not, no problem whatsoever. They turned it off. Now, if you were in a... In, my, in the UK, for instance, and you went into a cafe and said, can you turn your music off? We're going to do it. They tell you to get stuffed. What about it, where, where you come from? Mm, I don't think they'd go for it. No, they wouldn't. They'd probably say, go somewhere else, fellas. Yeah, exactly. Right, back to the condo. So uh, let's get into a little bit of, um, let's, let's say guys who are thinking of coming to live out here and are thinking, how much do I need? We're not going to do a big, long video about budgets, sure. but we'll just give them an idea on prices for living so you said you pay $160 for the condo mm -hmm. which is a decent sized room for all the rest of it okay so one of the biggest expenses out here is the electricity because you can't sleep without air conditioning what I used to do when I lived here I'd have the windows open in the daytime I'd have fans going and then at night time I'd have an air conditioning in the lounge because I had an apartment with a lounge and then when I went to bed I had an air conditioning you could turn that right down but you had to have it on all night. So I'm guessing you do similar. You Pretty sleep, much, yeah. sleep with the aircon, have it off yeah. in the day. Okay. So what what sort of price are you paying for your for your uh, for your electricity a month? So it's going to come with. Uh, I pay for electric and water, and between both of those, it's going to be less than two thousand five. Which is, sure. which is about 60 US dollars, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, it usually so, comes to about 50, probably. Right, so basically what you're saying, you've got a condo, your electric, your water, 250 US dollars, mm. you are done and dusted. Right, Other, what do you think you spend a month, a month on food? Because I'm guessing you're eating in these small outdoor, not so too food, expensive. I'm, I'm pretty good. I think I spend around 500 baht a day. So 15,000 baht a month, that's, uh, I can't work that out in dollars now. It's, it's about eight hundred. Five is that five hundred? Well, let's just say five hundred. Just uh, five hundred. So, so we're up to seven fifty now. What, what do you think your alcohol and entertainment budget is a month? So I'm currently not drinking. I'm trying to trying to uh, do a do keep it healthy. Apart so from last I did. Night, of course. <laughs> so I was doing sodas last night. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you were. That's yeah. right. You were. Yeah. You were on sodas. Yeah. yeah. But okay. um, but in the past I drank plenty. So um, that probably damn near doubled my budget to right, be honest right, right. I am drinking so with, with everything just a rough guide what would you say your monthly expenditure is to live here so we're I talking think it's, I think it's around 1200 1200 US dollars yeah. so about and that's and I'm pretty I'm pretty budget guys pretty so good, yeah. if you wanted to kind of do more luxury you could probably do luxury for around 2000 yeah. which for a lot of guys is, is not a lot of money yeah, and if you wanted to live like real cheap, I'm I'm speaking eating noodles on the street in a, a Thai style room, you could probably do it on a thousand dollars, nine hundred dollars a month. But I'm going to say something really important here because Jeff's living on a, quite a comfortable life for twelve hundred US dollars a month. 
that's his apartment, his electric, his water, his food. But what, what a lot of people forget is when they make these style of videos, they'll, they'll do a budget video on how much um, you can live on. But what they forget is the price of the visas, the, mm. uh, the, the medicine, you know, especially for older guys, you're gonna want some kind of a health, some kind of a health uh, insurance. You know, that can cost anywhere between $100 and $500 a month. You have to research that. And your visas, you're either going to be on a retirement visa, you're going to be on a, um, a work permit maybe. So you need to look into that because they need to be renewed. They cost money. They're not cheap. You're looking at, uh, for a retirement visa, I'm, I'm not going to quote a price here because I'm, I'm not up on the current prices because I don't, I don't live here right now. But when I, when I come out here, I will get a work permit. The only reason I'll get the work permit is because I'm, I'm making YouTube videos and I don't want to be, that's, that's classed as work. I don't want to be making YouTube videos on a retirement visa. So just keep that in mind, guys. If you're planning to come out to Thailand and you've worked out your budget, just take, you know, do your research on, on visas, do your research on, on um, med medical, your costs, insurance. And what, what also I would advise you to do, so Jeff said 1200, let's work in another couple of hundred, $300 for that. So you're now up to $1,500. I would say on top of that, budget another at least a minimum of a hundred dollars a month that goes in a pot for any kind of emergency so sure six months down the line you know if jeff gets um, uh, heaven forbid but if you got a phone call saying one of your family members had passed away and you had no money then you know you're, it's not a good place to be yeah so if you if you um if you put a hundred dollars a month away and you had an emergency then you could buy that air ticket back to the states sure. and then you could get back out here and there's always stuff like if you do the list that Peter just gave you with the visa, the health, the rent, etc., there's always some fees that go along with that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, there is. So I, I, you need to keep an extra 20% on top or something like that for yeah. unexpected. Yeah, I, I've seen too many guys come out here and uh, they've worked out their budget and it's, it's nowhere near what they need. They end up in a room with a fan. They don't go out, they sit on the steps of 7-Eleven with a Leo beer. That's no way to, that's existing, that's not living. Yeah. Um, something something else that's very important, I don't know if you really, you probably know Jeff, but a lot of the viewers won't. The cost of the electricity per unit varies. There's a government rate. I think yes. at the moment it's currently about four, four bar a, a unit. I might be wrong on that, but I think- 3.5. Okay, I was close. I was close. Right. So the government, you, the government price on electricity is three point five per unit, but when you rent private condominiums, it's up to the landlord. He can charge you, base. I think there is a cap on it. I, I'm not sure what it is, but he can charge you what he wants. And I've known people who take condos without researching this, and they're paying nine bar a unit for and electricity. That, and that adds an extra thirty percent to your rent. So if you're paying. If you think you're getting a room for 9,000 baht, which could be a pretty comfortable room, and then your electric bill is going to be 9,000 baht, you're getting pretty pricey there. Yeah, yeah. To where is if it was 3.5, which is the government rate, it's going to be around two less than 2,000 baht. So you're looking at 11,000 baht versus 18,000. Huge difference. Yeah, absolutely. When you're over here, absolutely. It's not, <clears throat> it's not so bad if you're just going to a, uh, you're going to stay here for a month, two months, but then you wouldn't take a condo because like in the West, you have to give a couple of months deposit, you have to give one month up front. But what I would say is if the landlord says to you, look, it's, it's five, well, I charge five, six baht a unit and you've got the paperwork, it'll all be in Thai, they won't give you it in English, take it to a lawyer, there's plenty of lawyers about, they're not overly expensive and just tell them, that oh, this is what I've been told, this is the paperwork, can you read through it and just confirm what the landlord has told me is in this contract so actually I just signed my lease it was um, the paragraphs were in Thai so maybe three sentences in Thai mm -hmm. and then they did have it in English below ah well that's that, yeah that's uh, that's a bonus then because normally they don't uh, so that just by you telling me that that tells me that they're good landlords that they've yes. taken the trouble to put it in English so you, you're absolutely clear what you're paying so you you kind of landed on your feet there very nice yeah very okay nice. And what about your, um, let's talk a little bit about you now, what about your long-term plan? So ha I don't actually know, how long have you actually been in Thailand yet? So I've been here for just over two years. Mm -hmm. My original plan was to, to do YouTube, right? but my original plan was to travel to a new country mm -hmm. every month Okay. and vlog there. I also do music, I do some hip-hop music, maybe do a song there with the, the local musicians, okay. pick up the local vibe and maybe knock out a song. But my original plan was to hit a new country every month. Right, right. Um, then we all know what happened with the um, not being able to travel and all that good stuff. Yeah. So I've been here for two years and 
making Thailand my base. Hey, Thailand is not a bad place to be stuck in, is not it? Not at all, not at all. No. I was very happily stuck here. So, in terms of today, when the, this awful pandemic eventually it will end or we'll learn to live with it, hopefully, what will be your future plans? Will you will you go and try and travel every month, or will you uh, have you now fallen in love with Thailand? And you've I've, decided to stay here, or I've fallen in love with Thailand. So Thailand's going to be a base. So a jump probably going to be my okay. base. Springboard, yeah. yeah. But um, yes, I would love to travel. Um, itching to go to Japan. I lived in Taiwan for a year in 2014 to 2015. Okay. Love to go back there because that's kind of an old stomping ground. Right. Uh, right. So those are two on the top of the list. And I would love to hit South America. Uh -huh. Right, even right now, Colombia and Brazil are open. But um, I think even there's so much changing every day with travel stuff. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm just gonna stay here until it's really open. Yeah, good idea. I don't want to get stuck anywhere. No, and I think to be honest with you, Jeff, if I was in your shoes, where you're living, I'm looking around me now. Um, when we end this, I'll pan the camera just to let everybody see where we are. I'll, when I said the goodbyes, I'll pick the, the uh, camera up and I'll, I'll do a quick 90 degrees and you can see where, not exactly where Jeff's living, but what he's got around him. Uh, and I think, nice. I think your plan is uh, excellent. Use this as a springboard. And when it eventually does open up, uh, have you got, you've said which countries you've been to, but are there any you've always wanted to go to and you will go to once this pandemic finishes? So I haven't been to South America. So okay. Colombia, Colombia and Brazil are definitely at the top of that list. Okay. Just to get something different than Asia, yeah. Um, just to get a different flavor and um, food and women. Okay. I like Thai food. I like Thai women. But um, little a little Latin flavor wouldn't be yeah, bad to yeah. mix in. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> okay, well, look, I'm going to wish you all the best of luck with it. You're a nice guy. Uh, it, it was great to bump into you. But as I said at the beginning of the video, this is what happens in Thailand. You meet people with a similar like for like. Uh, I didn't ask you your age. Do you mind if I ask your age? Oh, I'm 40, guys. Okay, so the reason I asked you that is because I'm 62 on my next birthday. Now, unless one of those motorbikes, unless you have, uh, it's very difficult. It, for, I can only speak from my own experiences in the UK to meet people with such a wide age group. You, you just have your own age groups that you hang out in, and this is a great thing about Thailand. You can meet people from. 30 upwards you can be any age and they just click they've got the same mindset and it's a great place to be so I, I, I want to wish you all the best of luck with your YouTube Jack before we end just tell everybody the name of the channel again Jeffrey Peterson and um, I can get you the link yeah okay I can put that at the bottom of the, uh, the, the bottom of the um, description and but it's a fun channel guys I just I have a lot of fun with it I'm laid back um, I feel like you guys just come hang out with me and I show you around show you what's going on in Thailand and wherever I'm at. So okay. come hang out. Sounds good, sounds good. All right, Jeff, what can I say? Thanks cool. a lot. Thank you, Peter. Uh, good, luck with you, good luck with your YouTube channel. I'm sure you're going to do well. You're a nice guy.